we got the BRG9 Elite from Buffalo Cartridge Company. 9 mil. It's a pretty pretty cheap one. Um uh, it doesn't say the price on here. I paid paid about uh three hundred dollars I believe. This is what you get. I have uh shot it already, so this is gonna be a after range clean and breakdown and my opinions. Which honestly I had one malfunction which was probably more on my part. I was racking the slide back and it didn't fully seat the round, but I think that's because I babied the slide, I didn't just let it go. So honestly for my opinion, the BGR9 Elite is 100% a good deal. You should go pick this up immediately for the price. It is one of the best feeling 9s that I have, period. I have the G3C, the Taurus G3C, the Taurus GX4, and the Smith & Wesson Equalizer. Like The Smith & Wesson Equalizer and this are up there. Pretty, pretty good. But, uh... For the price, this is a no-brainer. Everything that you see here comes with you get two extra back straps, you get two magazines, there's one in there. You get a, a speed loader, which I don't really like that, to be honest. It does work. You get a little bottle of oil, you get a little cleaning cloth, you get a little trigger lock, a little, couple little brushes. I mean, like... That's really not not a bad deal whatsoever. So let's uh get into this breakdown slash cleaning. Let's get this out the box. And before anybody starts mags empty. Lock it back, nothing in there. Uh, you can see that's empty, no mag, daylight through. But um, from what I heard, I believe this is a Springfield XD clone. But I mean, like it's it's nice. It's got the whited out back, and then the, it's got the the orange dot for the top. Feels really good in your hand. Both mags are uh, 16. So you got 16 plus 1. And they're not bad mags at all. Really, really like these. So, um, point in a safe direction. Boom. So we go lock her back. This little pin right here. Pop that down. This is just like the Smith & Wesson equalizer. I grab that. Slide it forward. I uh, believe you pull the trigger. Yeah, there you go. So... Yeah, it's really not too dirty. Grabbed a box of 200 rounds, and I took this and my Smith & Wesson equalizer to the range with uh, this 1911 T-Sauce 1911 that I just got, and uh, um, uh, Takarov, I believe, 12 gauge, which yeah, definitely uh hurt me a little bit. It's not a bad recoil spring at all. It's a really light recoil. It's pretty easy to rack. But uh it's a pretty nice gun. Barrel's got a little like bushing on there, I'm guessing to keep the seal. And yeah, I definitely put a little a little too much oil in this. But I just slapped some oil on there before I took it to the range. This is a brand new gun. It's literally the first time I shot it was today. And I put about 100 rounds through it, which flawless, except the one time that I said in the very beginning, but that was 100% my fault. So let's give this a little. I use this for oil and cleaner. I've never had a problem with it. I use it for my AR-15, every single one of my pistols, um, the shotgun that I own. Generally, on the 
the one shotgun. I actually just bought that shotgun not too long ago. So I'm still still new to the shotgun world. It's the second time I've ever shot a shotgun. And uh yeah, I'm a little sore. But I love it though. It's nice. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty clean in there. It's a little dirty, not too bad. What I like to do is I like to put my pinky on there. It's a little shake a shake. That should be good. Let that run down the barrel. Probably didn't even really need to do this. And then we're going to grab one of the brushes that it came with. It's not a bad looking brush at all. Sure, there's going to be somebody saying I'm doing this wrong, which I might be, but I've never had a problem <laughs> with uh, any of my firearms after cleaning them. <laughs> that one's too bad. Looks, looks pretty, pretty good. We don't, we don't call that good. I don't got too many rounds to it, so I'm not too worried. Still, pretty much brand new. I wouldn't even consider it broken in yet. But, um, for, uh, the, I think it was about $300. It might be $299 exactly, if I'm not mistaken. But for that price, though, I honestly love it. This is a really good budget pistol. I've seen some, uh, torture tests and stuff you know on the YouTube and it uh fared pretty darn good so if you're looking to buy these or one of these I would say 100% do it let's wipe this out Like, like I said, though, it's very, very light cleaning today. Doesn't really need a whole lot. Because I didn't put a whole lot of rounds through it. So we're just doing a little, a little basic wipe down. Pretty much. Yeah, honestly, though, this, uh... This is a great, great budget gun. Yeah, BGR9, uh, breakdown cleaning, like I said. This is everything you get in the box. It's about, about $300. It was $299, to be honest. But, I mean, can you really get anything better than that? Well, I mean, my, uh, both of my Tauruses were, like, about 350, 360, and, uh, they run pretty flawless. I don't think I've ever really had any problems with either one of them. I've had both of them for, the one for a couple years now, about three years. The other one I've had about two years something like that you know so I've had them for a decent amount of time spray a little bit of this in there probably making some people cringe right now but that's how I do it never had an issue 
<clears throat> Me personally, though, I like the, uh, the snakes or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's like a shoestring, and you put it in the barrel, and then you just pull it through. I have a uh, I have one of them in nine and one for the two two three, but I unfortunately have no clue where it's at at the moment. So we just running with uh, what we got, and what we got is in this box. So it's pretty pretty simple little wipe down. Um, not really much else to do except put a little bit of oil, which I'm gonna actually use the oil that it came with give it some little drip drops and don't look like too bad never heard of no sh nothing like this but we go we're gonna try it out give it a couple dabs here and there so my rule of thumb anywhere you think is a high wear area anywhere you see paint gone so right there it's a pretty high wear area I'm gonna do a dab, dab. I just gonna get that off in there, so that's good. And get a little dab back there. Dab in this rail. Dab right there. Just let it slide down. Dab, dab. And I'm gonna put a little dab right there too. So that's pretty, pretty much good for that. So, me personally, I like to get a little dab up here, get some around this. This is moving all the time. Same up here. Let's get a little dab, moving around. Doesn't need to be anything too serious. Just want it wet a little bit. There we go. Slap that back in there. We gonna put a little dab. There, get that a little wet. I want these springs to be moving nice. And that should be good, so fat part back or skinny with fat part back. So that's over here. Put that in there. Give it a little push. Boom. Right in there. Seats perfectly. And I don't I don't really like that that gap. I don't know if you can see that very well. I was really worried about that when I first checked it out, but this ran flawlessly. Like I had the one tiny issue and that was that was me just babying the slide, not just letting it rack around. So we gonna put a drip back here. On that little spring, because that's constantly moving. That's where your trigger safety and stuff, your, yeah, or not trigger safety, but your, uh, grip safety mechanism is. So you want to make sure that's oiled up. Whoa. Put a little. I know I oiled them rails. We're going to put a little bit on these as well. Get a dab up here. Get that nice and oiled up. Same over here. A couple of dabs. Uh. A little dab right here on the feed ramp. Uh, that looks to be probably good. So then take it, line it up. Then you want to take it all the way, lock it back, push this back up. And you want to do a function test, cock it back. Hold the trigger. Again, make sure you hear the click of that release. Click of the release. Hit it. One more time. Click of the release. Hit it. Then you're gonna take your hand off of this. The grip safety. You wanna take your hand off of that. Make sure it does not fire. It's not firing. Then you wanna. Okay. Now hit that, but you wanna not touch the uh, trigger safety and then you're good on that so boom and that's uh, a breakdown in cleaning 
So wipe this off a little bit. A little bit of oil on your gun ain't going to hurt. And yes, this is polymer pistol. I don't think I said that before. But you got a little cocked back or a loaded chamber indicator right there. Sticks out when, when you got it cocked back, which I like it. You know, this is pretty nice. I have no complaints really. At first I was like, it's a little chunky, but it, it feels really good in your hand. And I don't know about you, but I like to, to hold on to this. When I grip it, this is my grip. I This is how I love, this is just what feels comfortable to me. On my uh, GX4, I have a laser light, so I can't hold it like that, and it feels so awkward shooting that. I don't know, this is, it's just, that's the most comfortable way for me. I feel like it, it. It's the best way to handle it, in my opinion. Everybody holds it a little different. Some people are going to tell me that's wrong. But I like that it has the little serrations or whatever right there. And it does have serrations at the top or at the front and the back. And they're pretty, pretty good serrations. It's not the easiest to rack, but it's not hard by far at all. The trigger is, let's see, it's actually a really good reset. So, got that little bit of spongy take up. And then you hit the wall, almost immediate. Resets, not horrible, not great. And boom, reset, which you pretty much come all the way out at that point. Got that little bit of sponge. But honestly, shooting it is very, very pleasing. I like it. I'm happy. And uh, I got a little video at the range that I'm gonna put in but yeah honestly uh very happy with my purchase and then the carrying case is very nice mag is empty that back in there oh I'm supposed to go in there like everything fits in there pretty good. It's got a nice plastic case. There is a little spot for small little locks. Like really, you can't complain. It's a very, very nice setup. You know, I'm happy. And uh, so all I I got to say on that, you know, just like, comment, let me know what you think. Go out and buy one of these if you can. I am very happy with my purchase. It was very, very good in my opinion. It was well worth it. I had shot this target with multiple guns. This first picture is from a 1911, and then the second picture is from the BGR9.